Oh, that just clicks in. Oh, so nice. Hey, we're going to Rally here, and today I've got an exciting video. Well, I'm excited. It's just today we've got an MJC short shifter sent by tacticalracinguk.com. Go check them out. It's by MJC short shifter or you can go and get a Tejua short shifter, which is the same exact installation. If you want to spend a bit more cash, then go ahead, buy the Revo Technica, and you've also got the hybrid racing short shifter, the king of the kings. If you want that one, boom, Tactical Racing is your guy. And if you want any one of these four, then go to tacticalracinguk.com and use code MOTORALLY5 to get yourself a cheeky little discount. A cheeky little desk out, you know. And boom, big up tactical racing. And today, let's get on with installing the MJC. I'm actually really gassed. Boom, inside the package, you've got the MJC short shifter. And you also got an included uh, Allen key. For this installation, you need a hammer, the short shifter, and the Allen key that it's come with. And we also need a 12 millimeter spanner and a spanner in case you shift the knob has a locking up on it. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually measure this from third gear to fourth gear. I'm measuring at the top of the gear stick so we can get an accurate and fair measurement. So from third into fourth, well we need to move it down a bit, it's about 11 centimetres I say, third, and then angle it down a bit into fourth. Yeah, about 10 and a half, 11 centimeters. Very inaccurate, but GG. So now it's time to install the shifter. If you've got a Tejua, or if you've got the MGC like I do, it's the exact same process. First of all, let's unhook our cigarette lighter. If you've got a locking nut, you need to undo this, but for me, I could just pull down and then twist this off. Next, put this in. We're doing the exact same steps on how to remove the actual centre console, but we're not moving the top part. So put it in, put your hands in, and boom, pry it apart. Boom, be careful a little bit. And the last bit, let's, boom, right. So now feed this back up. And then you can start unplugging. So with this now out of the way, we can get into and see our gear stick. So now if I put the car in fourth, we can see the part a bit more clear. This plastic bit here needs to be popped off to get something underneath and make sure to not drop these. So the best thing that you can do is this two looking Allen keys things is a spring that goes around. What you can do is balance this on the outside whilst taking it out but make sure to put your hand underneath so the actual spring doesn't fall out into the gearbox and blow up your car. Go in, put my finger underneath. With my thumb on my left side, pull it to the left and then pull this to the right. And then I can unhook it like that. And then put, put them back in so now that is back on. So now with this out, we need to get to this cap. This cap is very difficult to pop off and plus the position of this. If this goes into the transmission, you need to take the whole dash out just to get this piece out. And that's this piece is the key to the whole short shifter. What you can use is a 12 mil sp spanner, get it up in there and just try and pry it out. And that way it can be a bit easier for you. So I might need to do this off camera because it is very difficult, but same principle applies. Try and get underneath it and just pry it and then boom, that should be it. But here's the plastic cap. And now let's get on to the next step. Now it's time to get this short shifter installed, but first of all, we need to prepare this by putting the cap on here first, if we can, which might take a bit more force. Boom, there we go, it's on. And now we take all four Allen keys out again, make sure to not drop anything down in there. Now for the tricky part, this slot goes where the old ball is, here, and this slot goes into here. And you might need to hammer it in, so just get lined up, slide it in, you might need to hammer it in, which is why we have a hammer. A 
and now that's hammered in obviously for the sake of the video i'm showing you guys how to hammer it in and yes it will damage and scuff up the side of the mjc but there's two reasons why i've done it this way first of all i couldn't really get any room but yes if you want to put something in between the hammer or you're going to get a soft hammer then i highly recommend that although this is very nice looking um but it's going to get it's going to get covered anyway next is to put this on make sure not to drop it and as well we need to start screwing in the screws so put a screw in make sure again not to drop it and just hand tighten it a little bit so it catches onto the thread and it doesn't fall out and now we use the included allen key and what we can do is just finish up tightening them and now that's all tightened next thing we need to do is actually connect our gear linkage back up with the short shifter and then put it in and boom here's your short shifter now installed let's see if we've got all the gears so we've got third neutral one two four fifth and reverse does definitely feel a lot shorter especially one to two so let's get everything installed back up in here and let's see the actual difference this short shift has made so let's get the panel and then put back both cables and now let's put this over the top and then feed it through boom like so put it all into place now let's move this down and then shift this back on boom connect this up or use your locking nut if you've got one and boom there you go that's the short shifter installed one two three four five and then you've got your reverse here or if you know ep tree you got your six and then your reverse is like all the way over there. So boom. Next thing now is let's measure the third to fourth. Put it in third. Let's, yep, so about there. Put it in fourth and boom, nine, eight and a half. Eight and a half to nine. So we shaved off two whole centimeters using the short shifter. That's actually quite good. That's actually really good, especially for just over 40 pounds on tactical racing for this short shifter you know it feels a lot better as well when it gets into gear than stock so yeah this is how you install the short shifter so boom this has been motor rally we've installed the short shifter i can't wait to get on the road and test out the short shifter that'll be in my next video point of view again another one but this time we're going to go a quick point of view using the short shifter and see if it's really worth it i think it's worth it so far but unfortunately this is the end of the video thank you guys for watching it's been motor rally what well